Fox News alert, Uncle Sam just approved a slew of new rules that could change things for every American with an Internet connection. Brand new hour here of America Live on a Tuesday. Welcome, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, voting in favor in a split, divided, close vote, voting in favor of brand new regulations for the World Wide Web. And that vote is already being met with some fierce opposition. Here's Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Today, the Obama administration, which has already nationalized health care, the auto industry, insurance companies, banks, and student loans, will move forward with what could be the first step in controlling how Americans use the Internet by establishing federal regulations on its use. This would harm investment, stifle innovation, and lead to job losses. And that's why I, along with several of my colleagues, have urged the FCC chairman to abandon this flawed approach. The Internet is an invaluable resource. It should be left alone. But it won't be. Shannon Bream is live in Washington with an update. Shannon? Well, Megan, supporters of this idea of what they call net neutrality say it's all about creating a level playing field. So everyone out there, if you've got Verizon or Comcast, whatever it is, when you try to access the Internet, you'll be treated the same way by companies who provide those so-called on-ramps to the web. It'll control things like the speeds at which you can download music or movies. Well, the Federal Communications Commission says it's just the agency to go around enforcing that. Supporters say it'll be just like regulating the telephone system, nothing more. This is not a government takeover of anything. It is simple, easy, the kind of thing that the government is doing since the 1930s. But critics of this move say the FCC has absolutely no authority to start regulating the Internet, which is been doing just fine on its own, and that those in favor of regulation are hard-pressed to point to any examples of consumers saying, hey, I've actually had trouble accessing online information or downloading things. FCC Commissioner Robert McDowell points out a federal court has already told the FCC it cannot act as an Internet regulator, and yet the majority insists on doing just that. He says they're in defiance of a court order, and he also points out to the fact that there's a large bipartisan majority in Congress that has warned the FCC against doing this. Uh, lawmakers say it's their place to make these regulations if they're going to happen at all. And it's interesting to note this move by the FCC has created a strange alliance. Not that often you see Senators Mitch McConnell and Al Franken on the same side. And they both oppose the FCC rules, McConnell because they go too far, and Franken because he says they don't go far enough in controlling and regulating the Internet. Shannon, Megan. what is the concern? You know, last year we had all this debate about the fairness doctrine, which spoke more to talk radio and even television, saying, you know, you need just as many uh, liberal points of view as you have conservative points of view. Net neutrality, it talks about something different, but the complaints seem to sound like the complaints we heard in response to the fairness doctrine. And I think so much of it goes back to Senate Minority, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, that bite that you had where he says the government is getting too far into the business of regulating private industries, cars, banks, and now possibly the Internet. I think there's a big concern about maintaining free speech so that companies can't be told who they have to favor, who they cannot favor, those kinds of things. So I think it's all about concerns that somehow the FCC is going to step in and start regulating specific content of speech by controlling private companies and what they can and cannot offer you as the consumer. It's the old slippery slope argument. All right, Shannon Bream, thank you so much. We appreciate sure. it.